Uh, Jamie, how would you describe your season so far? Is it one of slight frustration given the injuries and what have you? Yeah, you're right. Uh, obviously, I didn't really see this season coming. Uh, to have four hamstring tails in the one season, I've, I've never ever had that in my life. So uh, it was difficult. Uh, but and it, it was obviously it was more difficult because I felt like I was contributing in the games that I was playing, but I just never ever got to that uh, full consistency of the injury and stuff. So uh, I'll, I'll hopefully we've sorted the problem now and, and can move on from here and try and get better. When it's the same kind of persistent injury, does that play in your head more than anything else? Is it difficult to then go full throttle in games? A little bit, yeah. I mean, there was times I'm, I feel like I was training at 70, 80% just to, to keep it safe, which is obviously not how, how I want to train or play. So... Uh, the, the medical staff and the fitness staff and, and everyone here has been great and I spoke to some people down south as well so so touch with the uh, sorted sorted the problem given the way it's been stop start does the potential for a very successful end to the season perhaps mean even more to someone like yourself absolutely I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure it means a lot to everyone here and all the fans are obviously wants to win as well so it's, it's going to be a big end to season for us I mean, to still be fighting for third and, and to have a place in the Scottish Cup final, you, you can't ask for, for much more for the last two weeks of the season. Are you definitely going to be at Hibs next season? Can you just clarify what the situation is with your contract? I think it was, was it an option or was it an obligation to stay on? Uh, as far as I'm aware, I, I mean, it's an obligation, so uh, I'm looking forward to being here uh, and hopefully building on the success we've had this year. Obviously, the season's not finished yet, we want to achieve some more, but for the club, it's, it's been a good uh, good last eight, nine months. Jamie, Jamie, how much would it mean to have uh, some supporters at, at the cup final, if you could get them in? It would obviously mean a lot. I mean, I'm sure the fans have been watching online and on the telly, when the games are on the telly and stuff like that. So, yeah, I think you obviously want as much support as you can, whether that's from... The fans, players' families, you know, it obviously mean a lot to us if, if our families could be there as well. So. I know that Aberdeen have, have offered to, to host the cup final. Would would you want to play there if it meant fans getting in? That's that's for other people to decide uh, at the minute the game's at hand. And so uh, we're just concentrating on, on going there. How excited are you about the, the battle for, for places, I suppose, for the cup final and to be part of that team? There's a battle every week for places here. I think the managers put together a, a great squad and, and they're all good boys as well. So everyone gets on. So uh, there's obviously friendly competition there. But in the end, we all want, want the same thing. We want third place. We want uh, to win the cup. Would it be important to, to try and wrap up third place tomorrow so you can start to really focus on the final? Well, you, you obviously want to win it. Uh, get third place as, as early as we can. Obviously, it's a difficult game tomorrow, but we're, we're definitely going up there to try and win. It's not like we're going to be holding out for the draw and hoping that's good enough. You want to win games, you want to, to achieve success by winning. Uh, so I'm sure that'll be the case come come tomorrow. Thank you. Jamie, as a, as a player, does it matter to you playing the cup final at Hamden? Uh, as in just... That's a, from it being at Hamden, you mean? Yeah, yeah, it's a prestigious, it's, it's a showcase game at the end of the season. Um, it's always been at Hamden, uh, certainly in the last 20 odd years, anyway, it's been at Hamden. Um, it's a national stadium. Is that what the players aim for? Is that what you would, would want to, to be at Hamden? Yeah, and uh, well, in an ideal world, you want it to be at Hamden, but you also want it to be packed to the rafters, which is, is not going to be so. You mean it's, a, it's obviously a crazy world at the minute and everyone's just kind of going with the flow. So wherever we are told to play, we'll, we'll be ready to play. Uh, obviously, you'd rather there was fans in, but uh, obviously the victory at Hamden in the weekend, I think everyone dreams of scoring the winner in the cup final at Hamden. So, uh, you know, we, we obviously don't get to pick that for other people. I mean, you're, you're 10 months almost at Hibs now. You have not played in front of any fans. 
that must be pretty, pretty surreal. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I mean, you obviously there's interaction a little bit on social media and that kind of thing. That's that's kind of the only uh, only time you really hear from obviously Hibs fans. Obviously, not living in Edinburgh as well. I don't really I don't really see many Hibs fans in Glasgow, so it's it is a bit strange. Uh, but I, I, you know, I'm looking forward to the day where obviously they can get back into Easter Road and. And you can hear them singing and, and be a part of that. It's something that I've missed. Uh, well, it's definitely in the last year, maybe the last couple of years. So uh, there's nothing much better in this world than playing football in front of a crowd and, and winning in front of a crowd. And finally for me, how, how important is it that you keep the momentum going in these last two games? Yeah, third place is up for grabs. That could be secured tomorrow night. But I'm sure the manager will have his eye on players and ensuring that there's, they're maintaining their level of form for the game a week on Saturday, wherever it may be played. Yeah, you, I mean, you want, to, you want to play as best you can in every game. Uh, and especially with the final coming up, you don't want standards to, to drop. Uh, and I feel that's partly the experienced player's job as well, to make sure that doesn't happen. You know, you've got people like myself, Darren McGregor, David Gray, Paul Hanlon, people who've played for a long time here who you obviously know what it takes to do well in the game. So, you know, it's up to us to kind of police it a little bit and make sure everyone's doing the right things and, and keeping their standards up. Thanks, Jamie. Good luck tomorrow. Cheers. Jamie, I know you were in the uh, the runner-up of the Scottish Cup in 2011 with Motherwell. How eager are you to go that one step further? Yeah, very. <laughs> and, you know, it, was, it was 10 years ago this this year, obviously, and it was uh, it was a disappointing day. Uh, I still think about it now and again. Uh, we never, obviously, we played against Celtic and it was 3-0 and they scored early and we never really got in the game. We hardly got a kick, basically. We didn't play well at all. So it was, it was a difficult one to take, but, you know, I feel like I, I learned from it. I obviously took that on board and then, and tried to get better from that. Uh, but yeah, it'd be great to, to come come back now 10 years later and win the thing. And you touched a bit on next season. How uh, excited are you about having a bit of competition with Daniel Mackay coming in from uh, Inverness? Yeah, there's always competition. Uh, you always want to play, so uh, I'm sure the manager will bring a few more in. And, and Obviously, we want to be just as good, if not better, next year. That's definitely the aim. Fantastic. Best of luck tomorrow. Cheers. Jamie, you were also talking about it being 10 years since that Mullow final and they don't come around very often. Do you sort of see this as, as last chance saloon for, for Scottish Cup success? No, definitely not. Uh, I mean, we've got, we've got a good team here at Hibs. We, we want to be trying to aim for uh, cups and cup finals and semi-finals and that kind of thing. Uh, so I'm, I'm only 31 just now, so I'm going to try and play as long as I can and hopefully that's that's here, doing well and, and obviously getting to, to finals and competing for trophies. And the reward of, for winning the Scottish Cup could potentially be group stage football in Europe. Um, would you have expected to be back in sort of that stage again at Hibs? Yeah, I, I fully expected Hibs to, to be pushing for Europe. Uh, that was one of the big, amongst others, one of, one of the big reasons for coming here. Uh, obviously, I enjoyed it. I had, Mullo, had some success, so uh, it's, always, it's always a good feeling when you're going away a European tie the fans can get away obviously depending on Covid and things like that uh, it, it turns into a real adventure for the players and the fans when you, when you go and play a good team away from home in Europe so they're the games you look forward to uh, there's the other games obviously that we want uh, and obviously to get that we've got to, to have a good end to the season and a good cup in Jamie, you've obviously played at Rangers where there's a sort of emphasis on on driving and maintaining high standards. How does that compare to, to the environment at Hibs? Well, I think that comes from the manager. The manager's been great in, in, in doing that here. Uh, that's what he wants. He wants standards to be high all the time. Uh, and he expects the players to kind of police that. And obviously, he'll do that as well. So, like I said before, it's up to the older ones to, to make sure everyone's doing the right thing. Uh, the manager will make sure we're doing the right thing on the training pitch. So 
it's a, it's a real collective effort to, to, to make sure nobody drops a standard. Yeah, just on that, how much of a, an influence has the manager been on you in, in the short time you've been at the club? Yeah, he's been great. Uh, obviously, speaking to him through like difficult times, being injured, uh, getting the thing, he still wants to be involved. Uh, sometimes I'm on the headset down to the, the bench when I've not been involved. Just uh, It's just been a good experience. Obviously, I'd rather be playing every week, but uh, it keeps your mind busy when, when obviously you're injured, so... So it's been a it's been a different year for me, learning new things, doing a bit of coaching, watching games with the coaches and that sometimes. Uh, you know, I just want to be trying to be involved as, as much as I can and help the boys win. Thank you. Yeah.